Hey, it's your girl Kyra's Crystal Vision. Hey, give me some that, babies. Boop. Oh, grrr. hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sending you so much love and good vibes, babies. Thank you to my OGs, my in-betweens, and welcome new subscribers. Welcome to the family, babies. I love you. I'm always sending you so much love and beautiful energy. You are amazing. Know that I'm always proud of you. And remember, babies, you can do it. No matter how hard it gets, you can do it, okay? Now, reminder, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. My readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into them, they will resonate accordingly. Okay, my babies. I pray that whenever you're peering into my reading, whether during the week, the weekend, day, night, evening, you just can't sleep, that it helps you. And it is such a beautiful pleasure. And I am eternally grateful that this is a part of my purpose and I can help you guys, okay? Along your self-evolution, okay? Sacred, spiritual, individualized journeys of co-creating, alchemizing, manifesting, healing, and much more, okay? I love you, love you, love you. Absolutely do, babies. All right, let's get to the reading. But before we do, we call upon God, our angels that are assigned to us. We call upon our ancestors, spirit team, passed on loved ones, high-ranking deities and Orishas. Yes, that love us, protect us, guide us every single day. First and foremost, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take a minute. Amen. And we ask of you during this message and even after this message to please protect us from any evil eye, black magic, witchcraft, negative projections, negative energy, false narratives, gluttony, gossip, lies, rumors, untruths, unclean spirits, lower deities, or anything that is being sent to us out of jealousy, envy, rage, or to negatively impact our lives, well-being, or the well-being of our children and our loved ones. We ask of you immediately, instantaneously to send it back and to remove it. Mote it be, amen, immediately. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and please block any interferences during this reading. All right, my baby, so let's see what is going on, okay? Let's get right into it, spirit. Straight to the point, please. What's going on? All right, queen of swords, thinking woman, okay? Someone could be 47 or in their 40s. What's going on with this queen of swords? Ooh, man holding a coin. So I feel like this queen of swords is with a man holding a coin in reverse. Okay, so this queen of swords is talking about a man losing money. This could be you, someone you know. This could be her um, spouse, partner, friend. Yeah. A queen of swords is talking about a man losing money. Because you left? This, yeah, this lady got her bags packed because you left. Because you don't want to deal with them anymore? Or this Queen of Swords is trying to affect your person's finances so you can leave? Those are the messages. Let's see. What's going on? Queen of Swords. And why is she talking about a man losing money? Why is she talking about a man losing money? Oh, because this man is heartbroken. And basically, this man didn't do the healing that he needed to do. Is what I'm hearing. Um, so that way, he could have gained his own personal healing happiness. Is what I'm hearing. Because this came out in the read yesterday. Okay? With door to personal healing and happiness, same position. It flipped right in reverse. Okay. I feel like 
this woman is talking about a man losing everything because he's a heartbreaker. And this man goes around affecting people's healing and their happiness. So now God is affecting their finances. The number one thing that they care about the most. Yeah. You left or... Yeah. You don't deal with this person. Now, the other message that is coming through strongly is a queen of swords is trying to verbally cast some type of magic or spell so that your person can be financially like struggling and broken hearted and feel like, you know, you are not their happiness and they cannot heal with you. It's a strategy. Okay. Be strong. Your person will be stable. You are your person's healing and happiness because they are the same for you if you're in a relationship, okay? Um, let's clarify a little bit more. I feel like this Queen of Swords energy wants your journey. So she wants to affect your man's, you know, money. So he can feel disproportioned you know, like caged in, trapped with you. Honestly, I don't think your man feels that way, but this is what I'm picking up from this Queen of Swords energy. Mm -hmm. If that's not the case, she's just talking about someone losing everything because they're a heartbreaker, because they affect people's healing and happiness. They go on a journey to gain their prosperity by affecting people. Okay, wow, at the bottom of the deck, yeah. Either this man holding a coin is toxic or it's this thinking woman. So let's see. Clarify the thinking woman, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, wow, the thinking woman is the one that does the magic. I'm trying to tell you, yep. Yeah? This thinking woman is trying to make your man lose his job. Now, if this is not a man and you're dealing with a woman, she's trying to make your woman lose her job. Yep. Five of Pentacles in reverse is like unemployment. You know, upright is just temporary. You know what I'm saying? In reverse, this woman is really trying to like affect your finances. And it's two people on this card. So I'm assuming that you're dealing with someone. And this someone has a really good job. They're stable. They're balanced. Whatever this Queen of Swords think that she's going to do, it's going to backfire onto her is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why clarifying this Queen of Swords is the Five of Pentacles reverse. Because it's backfiring onto her. She's losing her employment. She's losing her stability. Yep. Yeah. She's losing her partner if she even had one is what I'm being told. Yep, because she causes confusion. Magic, okay? Let's get one more. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I'm like, I'm hitting the message on the head is what Spirit is saying. <laughs> All right, pretty much. This Queen of Swords is pissed. I'm surprised she didn't come out in the reverse and what I'm hearing is it's because she tries to act as if she is fair and just but she's the opposite um, this woman is trying to have your lover lose their financial stability and it's just going to backfire onto this person it's just that simple yep the magic the confusion okay the heartbreak spell the hazing is just going to bounce off of your person and go right back to her. Clarify this um, man holding a coin in reverse, please. Yeah. They may be a little slow down. It may take them a little bit more to get where they are going, but they're fucking dedicated with this Knight of Pentacles. Yep, and a hard worker at that. And this person is very patient. Okay, so whatever this thinking woman thinks she's going to do, it's not going to work. 
as my phone lit up. My phone always lights up or bangs when I'm on point, boo-boo. So yes, your person is loyal. You're loyal if you're with this person because I really feel like you are. Um, this person ain't going to quit. Like the Knight of Pentacles is not a quitter. They're not a quitter. Like I'm hearing that your person is giving this Queen of Swords a run for her money because he's resilient. He's strong. He's not who she thought he was. Is what I heard. Okay. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles, here. Knight of Pentacles. Exactly. I can't make it up. Sagittarius energy, temperance. We have Gemini, Capricorn, Tur Taurus, Virgo. And Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for the thinking woman. More so like, yeah. So pretty much your person is healed. I can't make this shit up. Like when I say your person is fucking balanced, but also, but also not only are they balanced, right? Your person investment, their job, that they are routinely accumulating their stability and their funds from, the angels are protecting that. So this queen of swords is constantly speaking something, trying to speak something over, over your person's like finances, but the angels are protecting it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. The angels are protecting it. Hell yeah. It's like this person does this magic. That's what I'm getting. And then stalks you or your person to see if it's working. That's what I'm hearing. Um, and then as soon as I said magic, we got the high priest at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. This woman does magic. And she wants to affect your person's finances so bad. Because she really needs you or this person you know, to leave each other. She needs y'all to be at odds over money because that's all this person cares about. See, you and your person, y'all don't live for money, okay? You are not money-hungry, greedy motherfuckers like this Queen of Swords is. So honestly, this Queen of Swords is confused on why your person could not be where they want to be financially, but you're still loving them and they're still loving you and y'all still sticking it out. <laughs> And she can't get it in her pea brain mind. Why? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles and Temperance. Your person's ships will still come in. Why? Because they're protected by the angels. Yep, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, this woman is trying to slow down your person's ships from coming in. But the angels are like, ta-ta, bitch. That's what I heard. <laughs> You're not going to slow down nothing. You're not going to slow down anything. That's what I heard. Let me get another one. Three of Wands. Yep. We're going to keep them moving right on forward as they supposed to be. Both of them is what I heard. Both of them. This is clarifying temperance. The eight of wands is clarifying temperance. I told you your angels is keeping you pushing forward. While people that you have distanced, this king. Okay, I was about to say king of swords. So it could be a king of swords, queen of swords. Okay, two people. Trying to slow your future, your ships from coming in. Okay? Especially in trying to affect your person's finances. And your person's still balanced. Your person is still with you. Your person is still happy. Because they don't thrive off of finances. But also your person is very gifted is what I'm hearing. And they know that because they are a gifted and a good man. And they do right by you. And they have a relationship with God. God is going to bless them. That's exactly what I'm hearing. 
Let's get a bit, little bit more about this thinking woman. Mm -hmm. What's her deal? What's this thinking woman's deal? Ooh. Okay. Yeah. She lost. She's losing it all. Okay. She does not have a twin flame. Um, if this person tries to claim to be like a twin flame, she doesn't have one. And it's okay. But, I mean, I'm hearing it's too late for this woman to elevate to a, a high-level soulmate because she rather do karmic things and ha I'm hearing karmic behavior. Anyway, her st she's losing her stability. So that's why she's trying to affect your person's stability. She's losing, if she was married, she's losing her husband, her stability, her family, everything. This queen of swords. Whether she was married, in a partnership, she's losing everything, man. And to try to save face out of desperation, she's trying to affect your person's finances. But the angels are like, no, absolutely not. Yeah. This woman is using witchcraft. Okay. She's diabolical. <laughs> because she's losing everything, man. I can't make this shit up. This woman... I'm hearing, had a good man or a good woman. They didn't appreciate it. Okay? And not only, did they, not only did they not appreciate it, but they wanted your life, man. This this is the type of person that's never satisfied. So they'll never have anything. All right, let's clarify the five of pentacles in reverse. We got time, y'all. We got time. Yeah, when it comes to her work, I can't make it up. When it comes to her work, she's losing it all. Because she's trying to make your person lose it all. So that you can leave or he can leave. I'm trying to tell you, the five of pentacles in reverse, this woman is heavily trying to affect your person's work. I feel like she's pissed off because it's now it's backfiring. Like... The four of wands in reverse when it comes to her love situation. The five of pentacles in reverse when it comes to her finances. Keep trying to affect someone that is a good person. Someone that is godly, God-fearing, that has a good relationship with God. Keep, keep doing it. Because it's just making this queen of swords life a living hell. Yeah? The devil is just coming right after her. Because they know they can't get you. And they can't get this person of yours. So your person could be financially, you know, struggling a little bit. Give them love. Give them comfort. Give them reassurance that you riding for them. You there for them. Because they. this is this king of, I'm here, I'm about to say king of pentacles or emperor. They love you. Okay. And in order for this magic of this queen of swords trying to trap them in their mind not to work, nurture them, love them, be kind to them, reassure them that you rocking with them. You know, I got us when you are down and you got us when I'm down. It's a team thing, right? Broken heart. Broken heart. Sarafoster, broken heart. Ooh. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. Damn, these cards are slippery. I don't even know where that card went. Where did that card go? Oh. <laughs> okay. So this Queen of Swords is watching constantly. You be in a family dynamic with a King of Pentacles. I feel like your person, for some of you, your person's not struggling. I'm going to keep it a being. Your person is, I'm hearing, acquiring more money. Getting a raise, finding a better job, found a job. Like your person is stable, but it's like this person wants to make them unstable. That's that's what it is. Yeah, ten of cups upright. This is the dynamic that you're sharing with this man of yours, this emperor, this high level soulmate of yours, or you know, man or woman. Okay, put yourself where you belong. You know, tarot is gender fluent. If I'm saying a man and you're dealing with a woman, I'm talking about the woman, all right? If I'm talking about a woman and you're dealing with a man, just, just flip it, all right? Because we both hold feminine and masculine energies, okay? Um, this 
Queen of Swords is stalking the shit out of you or your person. And they know that your person is happy. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, this person is panicking because they're losing it all. You know what the crazy part is? God sends you in these people's lives as a blessing or a lesson. As a blessing or karma. And boy, a lot of people failed the test. And they are thinking about that. Let's get a little bit more info. Why is she watching this man? Man holding a coin in reverse. Why is she watching him? Because she's burdened. Yeah, because she had a plan. Because she's burdened. Okay, you know why? Because she's losing everything. I mean, she's, she's losing everything, yo. And if this is somebody that relied on somebody else for finances, like someone, that, like a housewife, oh, she's fucked. That's what I heard. Damn. Like, if this is a housewife that sat up here and did this shit to affect you or your person, and she's fucked, man. Because she has nothing to fall back on. This woman has done nothing to improve her own self. She relied and was codependent on another man. If that's for some of you who this queen of swords could be. For others of you, it's, you know, I saw a dark spiritualist, you know, um, someone that you used to talk to or your person like friends or advice or family. It could have been like someone that wanted more with your person. I mean, but this woman is watching you or your person because it's like her plans are backfiring. She's burdened. Yeah, because her plan was to get your divine inheritance. That's That was the plan, boo. But she's saying that you and your person is still moving forward. Whether you are rich or poor, you and your person sticking together like it is what it is. Because y'all know eventually you're going to get this. Like you know it. The facts of life. <laughs> when you are a good person, good things happen to you. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> the facts of life. When you are generous in giving, even though those evil conniving individuals may see that as a weakness, you will still get that back from God in the universe. The facts of life, boo. Okay. This queen of swords knows that you're still going to get your abundance and she's heartbroken. She's heartbroken because she cannot affect your person's finances, even though she is trying at the moment. Okay. Because she keeps stalking you and your person and she sees that you guys are perfectly fine. Door to personal healing and happiness in reverse. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, you, both of you or your person has freed themselves of this queen of swords energy. Yep, I'm trying to tell you. Like she cannot affect this person of yours. She can't. Your person have freed themselves from this person. So they were talking to them, maybe even getting advice. I, I don't know, but whatever happened between your person and this queen of swords, okay, it's over. Friendship. Maybe this queen of swords wanted more. Your person was like, wait, 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 no. <clears throat> and then they tried to ruin them so that you wouldn't want them because all they give a fuck about is money. You don't care about money. You want love, respect, loyalty, compromise. You know what I'm saying? You are an adult. You're not a child. You know, think childishly like these people that think that way because they refuse to heal and change. All right? You freed yourself, remember? Okay, from this queen of swords that was trying to hold on or your person or both of y'all, okay? Because this queen of swords could have been a mutual friend to you and your person. That's why I said both of y'all. Um, or it could just be someone that's mad that you got a man that loves you and wants to provide for you. And this queen of swords wants to ruin that shit so you can leave. And even if she is, affecting your person's finances you're not going nowhere that's what i heard 
And honestly, it is burdening the hell out of this Queen of Swords energy. <laughs> Yo, because honestly, she wants your position, man. I don't know if she wants your person because this Queen of Swords was in a relationship or a marriage. I feel like she just wants your position, Empress Queen. Yeah, she is so fucking jealous that your person loves you, provides for you, sacrifices for you, is an angel just like you, that you guys forgive each other. Like, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. You guys take risk together. Like, yeah. And for some, this Queen of Swords chose to just be a housewife and got the nerve to get in her feelings because you chose otherwise. That's, that's what I heard. It is what it is. So, I mean, that's not everybody, 303, but that's confirmation. So this, for some of y'all, this Queen of Swords is a housewife that was highly envious and jealous of you and your person. And she's trying to affect your person's finances, but it's only ruining her own life. And why would you do that knowing that you ain't got shit to fall back on? I'm trying to tell you, people do not think, yo. Anywho, I guess she thought she was going to fall back on your destiny. Joke's on her. Um, for others, this is like lovers that were married or in relationships or lovers that are completely unstable and that wanted your person, wanted you, they're not going to get it pretty much. Um, and because they can't have you and your person, they're, they're trying to affect your person's finances so that you can be so superficial like them and be like, well, you ain't making no money. So fuck you. Like only an immature woman would do some nut ass shit like that. Especially if you have a man that rocked for you when you were at rock bottom, when you were going through hard times, when you didn't have it. Especially if you have a man that also sacrificed for your children. Like, if you have children, like, come on. People people are so selfish, yo. You will, you will realize that shit. Lord knows it. Give us a little bit more about door to personal healing and happiness. Yeah. This uh, Queen of Swords is heartbroken because her happiness and her healing is done because she wanted to ruin yours. You want to ruin a good person's happiness and healing, a good couple's happiness and healing? Well, yours will be ruined. How about that? What goes around comes back around, my babies. Just is what it is. See another one? Yep. I feel like your person is stable. This is an emperor in this chariot. Okay? It's an emperor. Your person is still moving forward. <laughs> you know what I heard? You know, your person is very innovative. Your person is very smart. And this queen of swords completely misjudged your person. Jokes were always on her. Your person felt stuck. Because this Queen of Swords was affecting their finances. And they, like, I'm hearing out of the blue, unexpectedly took a leap of faith. And now they're moving forward, balanced and happy and with you. I feel like y'all took a leap of faith together, secretly, unbeknownst to a Queen of Swords and a King of Swords energy. And now her person is losing. I feel like if her person was in on coming for you and your person, her person is losing his job too. So say if this is a housewife and the man is the breadwinner, not only is she fucked, but the man is fucked but for collaborating with this wife of his for trying to gain your person's prosperity. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, I, this probably worked on past friends of theirs or people, but it ain't gonna work on you or your person for damn sure is what I'm being told. It didn't work. It ain't going to work. And now her person is losing it all. And they, ooh, they're going to be poor, man. And you and your person is moving forward just beautifully. Yep. Clarify the chariot. Yep. Because you and your person are giving. Even if y'all only got six pinnacles together, that means you only got three pinnacles and they only got three pinnacles. Y'all rocking together with y'all six pinnacles. Fuck it. Life, relationships, and connections are more than money. Chariot. 
Can I try the chariot? <clears throat> Whatever advice that this Queen of Swords was giving was dampering your person's happiness, was breaking their heart. And they had to like stop dealing with whoever this person was. Like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because I feel like this person, <laughs> they wanted your person. And if they didn't want your person, they lied on you. So I don't, that's clearly what I just said. I literally just said the shit and the shit just, <laughs> you, intuition on point. So whoever this queen of swords is, she gave some shitty ass advice to your person saying that you were a queen of wands. And I'm not talking about the positive side. I'm talking about the negative side of this queen of wands. Okay. You are a whore. You are her cheating. Okay. You are with a third party. Just lying. Trying to break your person's heart so that it can affect their money. Okay. That you're a liar. You're a heartbreaker. The reason why, you know, possibly you could have been stagnated or, or you were a little stressed or whatever is, be, you know, because you're getting karma. That's why you're stuck. No, no, no. It was this fucking bitch over here. Okay? That's what I heard. All right? I don't like to name call, but that's what I heard. I heard it was this queen of swords over here affecting your income and then lying on you so it can seem to be true. But the illusion is dismantled. So your person is like, oh, my personal whore? Well, I'll just be moving forward with my whore then. <laughs> because your person knows you're not, babes. They know you're not, man or woman, okay? They know this person is just trying to sabotage them. They know this. Look what you want. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Ace of Swords, what I'm spitting ain't nothing but facts, baby. <laughs> Because your person already know the truth. And it's like this queen of swords is trying to act like she knows what she's talking about. She's trying to be fair. She's trying to, you know, tell him the truth. And he like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the real whore. Is what I heard. Ooh, behind the scenes. And my person is not. They know the truth about you. Yeah, they know that this person just wants to confuse them. They know. Yep, and to compete with you. No. Mm -mm. Wow, just to, I split it just to do magic. Your person is smart. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, boots. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Let's get some advice and then we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. So this Queen of Swords is getting back what she planned for you. Her and her person or just her? The sad part is, for some of you, if, it's, if her husband or partner didn't know about it and was just stubborn, they're losing their money and stability because of her and probably don't even know why they're losing their stability. That's the crazy part. <clears throat> mm. But that's not for everybody. Let's get some advice for the collective spirit. All right. Yeah. You're free to co-create with your person. We got you. You ain't got to worry about no financial drought. We got you. We're going to provide for you. Don't even worry about it. If she is affecting your person's stability, you don't even got to worry about it. We got you. How you going to eat? We got you. How you going to pay your bills, your rent? We got you. As long as you have faith in your spirit team, God, and do not worry and stress and stay in a positive energy, we got you. Trust me. Trust me, is what I'm hearing to tell you, okay? So go ahead and continue to co-create advice. Yeah, I ain't telling nothing but the fucking truth, y'all. Y'all know I am. And keep your heart open to your person. Be honest with each other. Talk to each other, right? Love on each other. Do not wear masks. Be authentic with each other. And things are just going to be so beautiful. 44, I told you, 44, we got you, boo. We got you. You feel me? Yeah. Here and now. The great heavens above got you, baby. Trust me. I'm here past on loved ones, your spirit team. You know, continue to believe in us. We got you. Yeah. 
Oh, that's 14, not 44. Yeah, new beginning of stability. But we still do have 44 because four is in the co-creation card. So yeah, a new beginning of massive stability, of honesty, no more wearing masks, no more being scared, no more feeling like you're not good enough. No more dealing with people like this either. Oof. One more. Yep, a new life. That's what you get, you and your person, away from these people. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know why, too? Because you've accepted things that you've done that has also contributed to your person being heartbroken in some form and fashion. You've accepted things about yourself that you needed to change. You took a look at yourself. And baby, that a lot of times that's what a lot of people need to do in order to actually truly shift their life. And you've done it. And so has your person. And you guys are being honest and open-hearted with each other. You guys are going to create a beautiful life, a beautiful new life. You deserve it, man. Whatever you or your person did was the influence of manipulation and magic. You and your person deserve a fresh start. Not having third party or attachment influences, having their opinion or controlling you and your person. No, you and your person are now enjoying this new lease on life at both of your own free wills. So continuously be honest and open with each other. Ride for each other because you both feel the same way. You both are deserving of each other. You both have been fearless enough to take the leap of faith towards a new life. Enjoy it. Or this is what, no, I'm, I'm hearing you're with this person, man. So if you might resonate with this reading, you're with this person. I'm not hearing, oh, this is someone you'll be with. No, 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 no. This is someone you're with. Yeah, and a change is here, okay? I've been born by the river in a little tent. And just like the river I've been Running ever since It's been a long Long time coming And I know A change gonna come oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I've been, what's the whistles? It's been too living and I'm afraid to die. <laughs> Cause I don't know what's up there beyond the sky. Y'all know I'm playing around. You know your girl can blow, but listen, it's been a long time coming, boo. And you made it through. Cause the change is gonna come. It's already here, baby. I'm so proud of you guys. It's so beautiful. I love you guys. Until next time, this is the reading. A change gonna come. Until next time. Bye.